What's up, anglers? How's it going? Welcome to the Get Made Show. Mike, your host, local angler. Hope you like the studio. Man, what you guys think? Welcome to the show, Get Made Show. I'm excited. This is something that I've actually been um, working on for a long time. It just didn't happen. And it happened. I did record, you know, a um, an episode. But um, things have changed since then. Times have changed. Circumstances have changed. Our situation has changed. Anglers, not only in the world, but in our community here at home. So that's affected us all. So, um, you know, this kind of comes at a perfect time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your, 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 your quality time because I know we're all home with our families right now. So, you know, any other time, um, is, is precious. So still, you know, time is precious. It's the number one thing we have. And unfortunately right now we do not have time on the water. The best way to learn is time on the water. But the second best way to learn is right here, at least catching some trout, you know. Um, I don't know everything. I'm not an expert, but I'm just going to pass on what I've learned from other anglers um, and what I've learned from my time on the water. And hopefully when we're able to get back on the water, anglers, right, you're going to be prepared. So today we're going to talk a little bit about our situation here, uh, get a little get, you know, get updated um, from what I know. And actually, let's just do that real quick. Um, everything's freaking closed, okay? Closed, <laughs> so for real. Um, everything's closed. So if you are fishing, fish at your own risk. But remember, you know, this thing's real. Um, protect yourself. Protect others in your household. And um, yeah, um, so everything's freaking closed. So... This is the second best thing is is talking about fishing, sharing some knowledge, um, sharing the stoke. And, um, you know, there's going to be not just me talking. You know, I got I got some things planned for you guys. You know, I got some things planned for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy the Get Made show. Let's get into it. And before we get into it, um, you know, we're going to go into it with some style. We're going to start this show off with some trout fishing action, man. That's what's up. Some local influence. All right. I actually hit these guys up. The corduroy band. You know, like the, the jeans, the pants we all used to wear. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm definitely dating myself. But, you know, they, they kind of spell it different. Like music chords. So corduroy band. All the info is in the description below. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on YouTube. Download their music. Man, I love their music. I haven't met them. We've just been chatting online, but um, I think this song was just, I, I love this song. I love this song. So this is Wish I Was by the Corduroy Band and Trout Made Angler Company with that trout fishing action. Hope you enjoy it, anglers. I'll be right back. Same lake 
we're back. I'm excited. Man, I love that song. I wish I was. <laughs> I'm not going to sing y'all, man. But I love that song. And it just kind of like, you know, just, man, right now it's kind of perfect too. I wish I was. I wish I was fishing right now. So Corduroy Band, thank you so much. Local band, San Diego, California, right here. Man, if you like them, again, all the, their information is in the description below. Check it out. Follow them. Download their music. And, and once this crap clears up, hopefully, you know, check out their shows. And I think, you know, they might be doing something online right now. So if you want some music, man, check them out. Corduroy Band, thank you so much. Let's get into it. All right. What is trout made? Um, many people know, but if you don't, man, um, I want you to know. I want you to understand my story, um, where I come from, and what this is. And pretty much the way it started was um, I went to college. Uh, I got a degree in marketing. I got a certificate in social media marketing. And I went to go apply to every job in the marketing advertising world, right? And no one hired me. I didn't even get a call back. So the degree was great. I learned a lot and it's allowed me to kind of do this, do exactly what I'm doing and grow this brand, grow the channel, grow the Instagram and to just share my passion for trout fishing. Um, and, uh, so I like I was like, man, I I can't believe they're not hiring me. I, I I even applied to internships and they weren't hiring me. So, you know, whatever. Move on. Um did my thing in the corporate world all while developing this brand. And um I think ninety nine point nine percent of you are freaking amazing, man. Super amazing, just supportive, positive vibes, and just all about the stoke, all about the trout, you know what I mean? So that's awesome, man. So thank you guys for the support. Thank you for tuning in. So I couldn't get a job, and I wanted to develop a brand. And at the time, I was, you know, fishing and, and getting into fishing again. I didn't fish while I was in the Navy. Uh, I served in the Navy. I, I didn't fish at all. So, you know, I got back into fishing um, pretty hardcore here in San Diego, Dixon Lake, Cuyamaca. Um, those were the only two lakes I went I went to. And then, of course, you know, the Eastern Sierra. I was going about once or twice a year, maybe. Um, like I used to when I was a kid growing up. Every year, twice a year, we'd go, you know, a week after the opener, after Fishmas, you know, so... Um, but I was getting back into it hardcore and, um, you know, I, I just, you got to do something you're passionate about, right? So if you're passionate about something out there, anglers that you, that you could be fishing, it could be something else. It could be whatever. Just go full force at it. Just put yourself out there like this, man. I'm not naturally like this, you know, but man. It feels good, you know, when when I'm able to help you guys and I get that feedback from you and it just makes me feel good, makes my heart warm, makes it all tingly, you know what I mean? So, you know, Trout Made is um, the, the result of my passion that I was developing again, that, that, that was nostalgic, you know, so I kind of wanted to, to fuse combined and, and do this fusion of, of trout fishing and my influences where I could be real and, and, and I could be myself and not put on a show except for the get made show, but be myself. <laughs> and, and because, you know, that's why I like trout made, you know, my, my influences are, you know, I grew up in, in, in the barrio in San Fernando. Um, so, you know, low rider culture, um, you know, tattoo, uh, culture, um, you know, uh, the art, the, 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 the traditional American art, um, and music and, you know, punk rock music, 
oldies, rockabilly music, um, skateboarding. There's everything that I love, sports, every, everything that's, that's me is, is wrapped up into this. And, and, you know, that's what I, you know, kind of ended up with. And this is where we're at. And like I said, I'm pretty, um, if I didn't say it, and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and I want to do more. And that's why I'm sitting right here in front of you anglers. I want to do more, especially in these hectic times. So that's trout made, you know, it's, 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 and, and the get made is, is, um, man, it's pretty much like, so made is like motivation, right? Motivate yourself, motivate others. You know, a is take action, you know, get out there, go fishing, you know, um, man, it, it, it's, it's get out there. And then when you're out there, you know what I mean? Um, keep casting, man. Don't give up, you know, don't get discouraged, but be determined. That's that D, you know? And then, you know, the E is, is, is educate and stay educated. Um, always stay learning, stay humble, you know, accept, uh, help and, and ask for help. Um, you know, that's how you're going to get better. That's how you're going to catch bigger fish, you know, and, and time on the water. So, you know, that's made, you know, so get made anglers. And if you have any other questions, man, just drop it in the comments. I love to answer them, but you know, I'm, um, it's a movement, man. It's something, it's a feeling. It's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle, you know, and it's, it's, it's like why I, I thought of made was, you know, like the mafia movies, the gangster movies, the made man, you know, you got to put in your time and, and that's that time on the water. So that's what trout made is. That's what get made is anglers. I hope I explained it well enough. I hope, um, you, when you're able to, you can get made on the water and off. And what I mean by off the water is right now during these times, work on something you're passionate about. You know, let me know what you're passionate about down in the comments and like, I'll try to help you and steer you in the right direction. If you have a question about YouTube, Instagram, um, I could give you some pointers. So, you know, I, you got to get made, you know, that was another part of, of, you know, it's all coming back to me now. That was another part of the made portion is, um, you know, it, it's, it's, man, what was that? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so it was the get made, right? You know, it's, it's the self-made. There it is being self-made, you know, no one wanted to hire me. So here I am doing it on my own. And even actually, you know, like last year, year and a half ago, I tried going back after building and, you know, this brand up a little bit and, and someone's like, Oh no, you need, now you need agency experience. I'm like, man, so you gotta be self-made anglers. You gotta take your destiny and your, your, with your passion in, in, into your own hands and be con in control of it because no one's going to look out for you better than you and no one has your best, best interest in mind better than yourself, you know, but always have positive people around you to influence you and guide you and check you sometimes and kind of let you know, hey, man, that's a good idea. That's a bad idea, you know, um, but be careful also who you share ideas with, you know what I mean? So anyways... All right, anglers, so that's Trout Made, that's Get Made. Thank you for all the support uh, the past couple of years that, that I've been doing this, and we're going to be keep, we're gonna keep doing it, and we're going to do it bigger, we're going to do it better, um, and uh, we're going to see where this, this journey just takes us. But right now, you know, thanks for tuning in, thanks for enjoying this content for you, and, um, you know, this next segment we're going to be doing, um, after, we're actually going to take a commercial break, and have a word from our sponsor but when we come back we're going to be looking at the bait and weight technique dead sticking all right uh, we're going to be looking at the, the two techniques and all the bait tackle and um some little bit of extras that you might need when you're out there on the shore kicking back waiting for that tug so after this word from our sponsor we'll be right back thank you for watching the get made show anglers keep it locked you don't want to miss What's coming? Hi, 
I'm Classy Trout Guy, three-time Brown Trout Rodeo Champion and legendary SoCal Trout Angler and Super Bowl 37 attendee. This episode of The Get Made Show is sponsored by Whack'em Baits. When the bite gets tough, whack em. When mini jigs aren't cool anymore, whack em. It's okay to be whack. Whack em. His name is, what? Oh. His name is really whack? Whack? Whack him! Are you whack? Hell yeah! Whack him! Whack him! To win these whack em baits, all you gotta do is take two seconds to type in in the comments below. Whack him! Whack him! Cut! Fucking pay me! Oh, man, that classy trout guy. Man, that guy's a character. What do you think, anglers? Freaking classy trout guy. Thank you, Whack. Thank you, Whack'em Baits. Anglers, whack them in the comments. Win the giveaway. YouTube and IGTV. Get after it. Get some good quality baits from a local angler himself. Man, support local, especially in these times right now. We don't do this for the money. Trust me. There's no money in this. We're just trying to share our stoke and, and share our passion. So if you're going to buy in these times, buy local. Support local. Appreciate it, Wack. Thank you very much. All right, anglers, you ready? All right, we're going to get into the bait and weight, dead sticking techniques. You know, we're going to do two techniques. We're going to start off with my first technique, which I kind of modified is, is the Carolina rig where you use a swivel weight and a bead, leader and a hook. The problem with that technique is if you need to change your leader length, you know, which you should be doing if you're not getting bites, um, you know, figuring that out, you got to tie a whole new leader. So what I do is let's call this a Carolina keeper rig. All right, so this Carolina Keeper, it's a plastic cylinder, maybe a quarter inch long, and um, you squeeze it with some pliers, thread your fishing line through there, and adjust your leader length as appropriate. Pretty simple, um, but I love it because of that. And I have it long right now. That's what I, I was fishing last, I guess, or... I think I re-rigged this. I don't know, but you know, I would start off with a foot, 12 inches leader. Um, and to move it, all you do is press it again with your pliers and move it accordingly. So um, Carolina Keeper, bead, and egg sinker. The bead could be red or uh, chartreuse, whatever, orange, doesn't matter. The bead actually stops the egg sinker from hitting the Carolina keeper, which when the trout pick your bait up, I have a mouse tail on right now. When the trout takes your bait, that might slide and hit the, which causes vibration, which they might spit out your bait, right? So um, that bead kind of um, acts as a buffer for slowing down that egg sinker from hitting and uh, helping improve your bite. So the egg sinker, you wanna do about a quarter inch to uh, eighth, um, eighth and a, a quarter ounce, quarter inch. Eighth ounce, quarter ounce. Um, and I use uh, four pound to six pound. I stay with four pound test, a two to four pound test, depending on your preference of uh, line or liter. But what's cool about it, again, you don't have to have a swivel. So this is all connected to my main line. 
um, just like a um, mini jig would or lure. It's one line. I just have some terminal tackle on here with the Carolina Keeper, uh, the bead, and the egg sinker. So that's the first technique. And your rod and your reel, you know, uh, standard trout rod, 7 foot to 8 foot, um, and a 500 to 1,000 size reel. Um, all the gear I'm talking about is, is in the description below, anglers, so take a look. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But this is the Carolina Keeper. So that's the first uh, rig technique that I use for the bait and weight. Let's take a look at the second one. The second technique I use for bait and weight and uh, dead sticking is the split shot and a hook. Okay, this one on the Carolina Keeper rig, okay, the hooks you could switch out. If you're using doe baits um, or night crawlers, you want to use a, you could use a treble hook. You want to use a treble hook definitely for power bait. Um, and then for if you want to put plastics on the Carolina Keeper rig, um, you want to use a number 10 size mosquito hook. And that's what I use here in this rig, the split shot rig. I primarily use not for doe bait, though you can. Um, I do use for primarily soft plastics, uh, trout worms, mouse tails and things of that nature anything that floats that's uh good for trout you can use on this rig so split shot and a hook size 10 owner hook um and yeah so let's get into some of the baits i use and um you know these are all proven baits they work um you know and it's everything i've got either on you know you could get on amazon or at walmart um everything that i'm talking about is going to be in the description below so check those links out um yeah so let's talk about the baits because that's what's actually going to be attracting the fish those trout to bite your rig all right cool so we're just going to start off with the the age old classic the pb the power bait berkeley power bait is what i use um there's definitely different types of dough baits out there on the market but these guys got it dialed in. They got it figured out, you know. So the flavors or colors um, I use are rainbow glitter garlic and natural scent garlic, okay. So garlic is, a, you know, fish are just attracted to natural scents. So garlic is a strong natural scent, um, you know, and it's perfect for trout. They love it. You know, so um, and we'll talk about scents and attractants here in a little bit. But power bait, rainbow, glitter, garlic, natural scent garlic. Berkeley also makes um, little power eggs. Okay, so these are little, uh, they're, they're plastics, um, but they're eggs. They're already rolled up in little balls. I've had a lot of success, as you can see. I need a refill on here. So um, in the Sierra on these do on these power eggs so berkeley power eggs um a lot of different colors you gotta check it out so th these work you could put these you could put three on a treble or you could put one on a single hook good old salmon eggs you guys know man i remember using salmon eggs that's what probably my favorite growing up in the sierra was using was salmon eggs and um you could do it two different ways actually two different rigs um you know, salmon eggs don't float, okay, so, um, but, you know, if the trout are not on the bottom, you could actually, you know, put a single hook with the bobber, and um, they might pick it out out of the water, but um, salmon eggs do not float, they lay on the bottom just like real eggs would in a, in a lake, a creek, a river, um, so, you know, you could put, uh, you know, three of these on a treble hook, or one two, three of these on a single hook. And I'd use, uh, you know, smallest size, size 10 owner hook. And uh, the treble hook you want to use, it's, I think it's a size 16 or 18, okay? Um, but everything is in the description below, the correct sizes, so take a look for that. Um, but I, I'm pretty positive is uh, 18 or 16 for the treble hooks. But um, I use it on a single hook. Put one on a single hook. It's really natural. Trout love it. This right here is a Potsky Fireballs. Um, 
Potsky is kind of the OG, I think, um, going back in the days. But there's a bunch of different brands out there, anglers. So whatever appeals to you and you're attracted to, but um, these work. Marshmallows. Man, have you ever fished for trout and marshmallows? I'm going to take this back. This is probably my favorite uh, bait to fish when I was a kid. It floats. Um, you can put it on. I put it on a treble hook because that's all I my uncles had to tie on were, were treble hooks. So, um, but man, I used to catch trout on these too, man, for real. I really used to catch trout on these. I am not joking you. So these are Mike's Glow Mellows, right? Trout bait, chartreuse garlic. You see a theme going on here. I actually have not caught a fish. A trout on these marshmallows or any marshmallow for that matter since I was a kid um, probably around 13 to 14 years old so um, man I'm gonna have to try that out I don't know it, let me know if you guys in the comments if you ever caught a trout on marshmallows whether it's 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 a, a bait or straight out the jiffy marshmallow package man that you roast up on the, the fire or those little ones you put on like ice cream or something. I don't know. But if you ever caught trout on marshmallows, let me know. All right, cool. So let's get into some of the plastics, the floating plastic baits from uh, I use from Berkeley. Uh, man, most probably here in Southern California, especially Santa Ana River Lakes. But um, I've also had a lot of success in the Eastern Sierra um, uh, at June Lake on mouse tails. A lot of different colors, variety. My favorite is the, the, the bubble gum and white and the chartreuse and orange. But, you know, again, there's a lot of different colors, variations, and you're going to have to have one or two or three maybe um, just to be able to switch it up if that's one, not what they're biting um, on the colors. So mouse tails, man, probably a staple in every trout angler's box, dude. So get you some. Berkeley Power Bait Power Worms. All right, I have a uh, pink and chartreuse right here, but they also come in a variety of different uh, colors. So be sure to check some of those out. These are killer on that split shot rig um, or Carolina rig, and you want to rig it wacky style. So that's kind of putting the hook in the middle of the body um, as the body's horizontal. Okay, the worm's horizontal. You put it right in the middle there. And it just has that natural kind of like floating there, you know, uh, action movement. So these are killer SoCal Lakes, Eastern Sierra. These are awesome. All right, cool. So that's it for the baits. Um, dough baits, plastic baits. If you know of any other baits that float plastic baits um, that you could use for the two techniques, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. Um, we're going to talk about one last thing when it comes to the baits. And this is something you can apply to both dough baits or plastic baits. Um, I have two different types of attractants and scents here. Um, the first one is smelly jelly. And I just recently discovered this. I've been rubbing this all over my mini jigs. Yes, I rub it on my jigs, right? And um, you can also kind of like dip your power bait in here. So I'd rub this on, you know, the mouse tails or the worms or your power bait. This is something I picked up when I first started trout fishing and I still have, it's still good, surprisingly. Um, and it is the Lip Rippers Hatchery Dust. And pretty much what you do after you form your, your ball of power bait, you dip it in the water and then dip it in here, shake it up. And then now you have hatchery dust pellets, right? That um, should be illegal to use. But this is super garlic. Yeah. So that's what, um, you know, an attractant you can use for the power bait as well. So... Um, those are scents and attractants, anglers. There's a lot of different ones out there. Again, these are just the ones I use that I've had success with. All right, cool. So let's talk about some of the other tackle that you're going to you know, need to go trout fishing, to go bait and weight and dead stick. Um, I talked about the fishing line. I'd recommend four-pound line, okay, because you are running a lot of terminal tackle on there. Um, we talked about that. But um, 
I use Iserline Triple uh, X uh, Super uh, Monofilament. Okay, um, you want monofilament on the bait and weight technique because you want your baits to float, and fluorocarbon um, is heavier than mono, and it actually sinks. So four pound test. This is four pound test clear. I also like clear um, and smoke. So check it out. That's the line I use. Dead sticking bait and weight indicators. This one right here, uh, you kind of just put it on your line. Actually, let me show you. Pretty much, I put mine. And this one right here, this uh, mushroom, Super Mario mushroom, is from uh, the homie, my brother Jesse from War Paint Customs. So check him out. And um, this is custom. Hooked me up with this one. And pretty much, I put it, you know, when it's in, in you have your rod, your, your, your rod in the rod holder. Um, after you've cast it out and everything, you put this here and pretty much leave it there, right? Boom, right there. And then when that fish, you know, he might just slowly take it. Okay. But that's not the case. Usually, okay. This is what, usually this is what happens. Wham. Right. And it goes flying and you're like, where is it at? But don't worry. It floats. So always check by the shore. So that's Jesse's. I've actually made this one. Um, you could, you know, it's a DIY. Do it yourself if you want. Um, but again, support local businesses. Jesse makes them, but this is a wine cork and a, a, a screw hook. Simple. This I made this way before I knew Jesse. So uh, that's what I've been using. But I've been using the mushroom. So indicators. Get you one. Another type of indicator. Is a noise indicator. That one's visual, right? Those are visual, and uh, these are noise indicators. So you have this plastic one um, with some spring be uh, and a bell on there, and it's plastic, and it kind of just clips onto your rod. Um, I'd clip it, you know, underneath your rod, not too high. You know, you don't want it bending over, but you know, you want it. It's gonna move. You want to hear it move. And this is the the, the hardy steel aluminum one, old school kind of. You know, you get at Walmart or, or whatever online, but. Um, you know, you can have that one. I don't really like this one because to take it off, it's kind of a pain to take it off and it gets caught on the line a lot. So if you're going to go and, and get yourself some bells, um, get these. These are cool. But, yeah, so that's a, a noise indicator there for you. So you know when that trout's on the line. Baiting and waiting. Got a couple more things, anglers. And we're gonna we're, we'll be done here, I think, man. If you're gonna be using a night crawler for your baiting weight, you need to pump it up so it floats, right? Magic worm blower, you just pump it up after the night crawler is on the hook. Essential for the baiting weight rod holder, or like my fiance likes to do, she actually, you know, kicking back in the chair. She has the rod, the line here, and she'll be sleeping and just wham hook set so either or but rod holder now this next item anglers is um, one you're going to be needing if you're going to be harvesting your trout okay if you're going to be keeping your catch this is something you'll definitely need stringer this is a old school metal stringer you know you can get at walmart online what have you but stringer here in california the limit's five most places, the limit is five, except for uh, Lake Poway, it's four. So, but um, this is just your basic stringer. So you're definitely going to need one of these. Limits. Then once you get your limits, bring them home or, or do it at, I like doing it here at home, throwing my radio on, relaxing. But you're going to need yourself a good fillet knife. Fillet those trout, get them nice and cleaned up, get them ready to cook. A net. You need a net. <laughs> Probably most important thing. After getting prepared, putting your time in, learning what you need to catch the trout, you got to land them. You need a net. You need a net, anglers. So this is a net I got off Amazon. And um, it doesn't have a long handle. This is actually one I use for fly fishing. But um, you want your, a net, 
you want a net and you want a net with the rubber netting okay rubber it's just so much better on the trout okay um and your gear you know you you it's you're not getting you know the hook's not getting caught in any mesh or or you know fibers or anything like that so rope um you know those those cheap nets so you want yourself a, get yourself a rubber net okay all right anglers that's it the first episode of the get made show is done i'm a little sad but not really because this is just the first one this is just the first episode more trout fishing education to come more trout fishing action to come for sure a lot of edits going on i love editing so i've been editing some videos also in the meantime in between time if you like getting salty or if you haven't got salty and want to get salty and learn saltwater fishing salt made angler company the spinoff to trout made check it out youtube is up and running i appreciate if you subscribe there and if you want to get salty watch some uh, spotted bay bass some action there you know some 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 salt water fishing action if you will yeah check it out hope you do uh, if you don't whatever thanks for watching here thanks for watching this show thanks for being with me anglers on the first episode of the get made show and before i get out of here i want to do one last thing that i promised i would do and this i really hope this message is received I want to dedicate this first episode of the Get Made Show to Art McClure. Art, if you're watching this man, that means you're fighting. If you're watching this man, you're getting made still, brother. Keep fighting. I hope after all this clears up, you're still here to get on the water, throw a line, man, because, man, that's what it's about. So keep fighting, bro. Um... That message is from, you know, I ran into your brother Rob and his friend Brian. Um, they were on that pontoon at Dixon Lake. And um, your brother loves you, man. And I wish you the best. I wish you well. And, um, man, this one's for you. This one's for you, Art. So that's going to do it, anglers. We are out of here. See you next time on the Get Made Show. Thank you for tuning in. Um, on the next Get Made Show, what are we going to do? I think I want to do mini jig trout setup. That's what we're going to do. If you want to see something special on the Get Made Show, drop it in the comments below. Maybe we'll make it happen. Maybe we won't. I don't know. It's, uh, 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 what do they say? Any idea ain't a bad idea. Some of them might be bad, but that's okay. Drop it below. Don't an let anybody discourage you. Get Made out there, anglers. Thanks a lot. My name's Mike. This is Trout Made. Get Made. I checked the report last night and it was triple over there. I'm thinking if I battle out that I just might end up dead. Woke up at the crack of ass and everybody's going. But tell the girl on the radio, I gotta fight the fear of fear. It's my day, big Wednesday. Yes, I'm What's up, anglers? Get made with fresh gear by visiting TroutMade.com. All of your support will help create more content and trout fishing action. Thank you for watching.